Hi students, who says you can't practice skills at home? I'm gonna teach you how to shave a resident. And this is kind of like doing a home health visit, honestly. Um, I have my niece, who is my patient. She's gonna be Mr. Hensley. I have Charlie, uh, the home health patient's pet, sitting bedside there. And then my daughter is doing the video. So the things that you're gonna need for this skill is a wash basin. I don't have a wash basin here at this uh, home. So I'm using a casserole dish. I have a towel, washcloth, gloves, shaving cream, and a razor. Now, for this skill particularly, I will not be taking off the actual cap to the razor because my niece does not want me to actually shave her for real. So, anyway, we're going to start the skill. Lots of pretending and lots of fun uh, can be had practicing your skills at home. So, I'm going to start. This is on page 40 of your nursing assistant packet. Hello, Mr. Hensley. It's Miss Kempton. I'm your RN today, and I'm going to shave you. I'm going to wash my hands, and I will pull my curtain. I'm going to raise the side rail. I'm going to raise the bed, and then I'm going to place the resident in Fowler's position. Once you have your resident in Fowler's position, we're going to go ahead and make sure that our side rail is down so that we can work the resident. We are also going to lay a towel across his chest. And Mr. Hensley, I'm going to kind of tip your hat back there a little bit so that I can see your face there. Before I actually shave a resident, I need to make sure that I put on my gloves. All right, and I want to soften the resident's skin by, again, using a warm washcloth. It's also gonna be able to, again, wash the face there. Okay, so you'll soften the resident's facial hair that way, okay? The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a small amount of shaving cream and you're going to <laughs> apply that. And sometimes it kind of gets around their mouth, but they're okay. These men have been shaving for years. And the shaving cream again softens their hair growth makes it easy to shave. You would never want to dry shave a resident that would cause bumps and things. So we don't want to do that. All right. So now I'm going to rinse my hands off in the water. I'm going to uncap this normally. This time I'm not doing that. And we want to make sure that we start and shave in the direction of hair growth. Mr. Hensley, can you turn your face that direction a little bit? Thank you. Nice clean shape happening here. Now, the big concern is that you will nick a resident with the razor blade, and that does happen sometimes. If by chance you do nick the resident, you would need to apply a little pressure and the bleeding will usually stop. And again, if it doesn't stop, you would want to let your nurse know. Can you tilt your head back? Thank you. All right. Now, it's a little tricky getting around the lip. And you'll have the patient kind of make little faces and things. And that kind of makes that skin taut so that you can get all that hair growth that's around there. All right, looks like Mr. Hensley is doing fine. I'm going to lay this to the side because I'm going to put that in the sharps container, never in the garbage, uh, and you want to use that one time. We're going to clean the remains of the shaving cream off of our resident. He did a great job today. All right, so once we've rinsed the resin off, we're going to use our towel. And then 
it's nice to put a little splash of shaving cream, which I'm gonna pretend, not shaving cream, actual um, aftershave. Little splash of that. Does that feel nice? nice? Smells very nice as well. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of our towel. We're almost finished. At this point, I'm gonna remove my gloves the correct way. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and raise that side real back up. We're gonna lower the resonance head. All right. This bed needs a little attention there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the resident up. I'm going to lower the side rail after I lower the bed. And I'm gonna go ahead and give Mr. Hensley his call light. You have your call light there, Mr. Hensley. I'm gonna pull my curtain back, wash my hands, and report and record. Call me if you need me for anything. Can I have a bologna sandwich? Lunchtime already.